All right, so Terry Hart, let's let's go through the Golden Globes real quickly here. Uh, let's talk about the best TV comedy musical. We've got uh, Casual, Mozart in the Jungle, uh, Orange is the New Black. You know, this the, in this category, what do you think is the real standout? The real standout is Casual, because what is it? No, none of us even know what it is. I'm not sure if you can get it in Canada. I'm thrilled for um, Mozart in the Jungle, because I'm really hoping this turns people on to this series that's excellent. Orange is the New Black, great. Silicon Valley, great. I'm kind of surprised that we don't see Modern Family in here. That is true. Actually, you're right. Modern Family is a Golden Globes perennial favorite. No more Modern Family. Best TV drama. We've got Empire. We've got Game of Thrones, Mr. Robot, Narcos, and Outlander. Surprised to see Narcos on there because I think it was kind of a letdown for certain people. It's a Netflix show. It is a Netflix show. It, again, is one of the shows that people can stream and binge all at once. It was one of the movie, one of the shows that had people buzzing and talking about, but at the end of the day, I think people went wah, wah, yeah. and didn't exactly pay off. A Game of Thrones, thank goodness, even though it was a bit of a rough season. And is Jon Snow back? Somebody tell me what's going to happen with Jon Snow. Um, he's in the poster. I think he just had a nosebleed. <laughs> uh, <laughs> and yay for Empire. Cookie all the way. Best motion, motion picture drama. The uh, movies are Carol, Mad Max Fury Road, The Revenant, Room, and Spotlight. Such a tough category. Of course, I love movies more than anything in the world. Mm -hmm. I would like this category to have five more movies in it because there are so many deserving. I think the traction going into this is for both Carol and Spotlight, but my heart belongs to Room. Okay, and best motion picture, comedy or musical? Big Short, Joy, The Martian, Spy, and Trainwreck. Joy is not out yet, correct? Joy is not out yet. That is Jennifer Lawrence, Bradley Cooper with their favorite director, David O. Russell, who they just did um, Silver Linings Playbook with. And another movie that it was that, wasn't right it American now. Hustle? American Hustle. Yeah. Boom. God, great costumes in that. Well yeah. done, Adam Wilde. Um, um, this is a tough category. I'm not sure. I think it would be super fun to see Amy Schumer accept a Golden Globe. <laughs> and it was the year of Amy Schumer um, with her TV show and, of course, the huge success of Trainwreck and her SNL uh, when she hosted SNL, which was one of the best episodes of the year. Mm -hmm. Amy Schumer. What about uh, the fact that The Martian is in this category? It's comedy or musical. What's up with that? Yeah, I mean, you know, one of the things that they kept saying throughout the promotional campaign, and we can see it when TK talked to Matt Damon on the red carpet, is that, you know, the movie has a sense of humor. One of the things he loved playing about this guy was that he keeps his sense of humor, even though he's stranded on Mars. So they were pushing the comedic angle. This is certainly not a laugh out loud comedy. The Hollywood Foreign Press obviously wanted it in there. Can't quite fit it in the drama category. And if there's anything the Hollywood Foreign Press wants to do, it's get lots of movie stars at their event, the Golden Globes. So, Matt Damon will be there. Not a lot of love. But not a love. A uh, lot of love for Hateful Eight. No, Quentin Tarantino is um, coming up short. We see him with a best screenplay nomination. Jennifer Jason Lee uh, gets a nomination for her performance, her diabolical performance. But I think that's reflective of what Hateful Eight is for Tarantino versus his last two movies, Inglorious Bastards and Django Unchained, which are two of my favorite movies of all time. Hateful Eight doesn't fall in that category for me. Fair enough. And Johnny Depp obviously not getting in for Black Mass for anything, and that movie really didn't get any nominations. No. No, it did not. It's just not quite good enough. There you go, Terry Hart. And of course, you can follow her on Twitter, at Terry Hart, at Ant City. I'm Adam Wilde, and thank you so much for watching.